Okay, next let's bring in four axles. And I'm gonna just place a couple on each side of the train. And then let's also bring in four wheels. Now, when we assemble the wheels, we want to use what's called a revolute mate. So let's select the revolute. And then let's pick the back side, making sure we're getting an origin point for the revolute at the center of the wheel. And then pick the correct location on the train body. And you'll notice when you do that, it's going to screw it tight to the train body. So what we want to do is put in an offset of 10 thousandths of an inch. And you might want to play and make sure it's going the right direction. And it looked like when I did 10 thousandths of an inch, let's edit that it went the wrong direction. So let's make that a negative 10 thousandths. There we go. So now we have a gap between the side of the wheel and the train body. And we want to do a revolute mate on each one of those. So make sure you pick the back side of the wheel. And then you got to be careful not to select something incorrectly on the train. to make sure you get the correct location on the train. Again, an offset probably of negative 10 thousandths. So that moves it out a little bit so we have that little gap. Okay, so you wanna do that for all four wheels. Okay, once you have the wheels put on, then what you may want to do is actually make them invisible. So just click on the eyeball and that'll hide the wheels here for a minute. It'll make it easier to put the axles on. Okay, because the axle wants to be a fastened mate and you want to get really good eyes. Make sure you get the back side of the head and then that's going to go onto the train body. Make sure you flip it around but we're gonna need an offset. And let's see which, find out which direction we wanna offset it. We're gonna need an offset of 0.26, 260 thousandths. And that was the wrong direction. So it looks like we want to up oh, we want to offset Z. 260 thousandths. And again, just like the wheel, looks like we want that to be in a negative direction. So that puts that axle fastened onto the train. And the wheel's a quarter inch thick, so coming out 260 thousandths gives us that 10 thousandths gap. So again, we want to do that for all four of them. Select fastened, get good eyes, make sure you get the back side ring on the head of the, uh, the button head screw there. And then prick the location on the train body. If it's going the wrong way, flip it around and select an offset, and it looks like that's a Z offset of negative 260 thousandths. Okay, so again, go ahead and do that for all four. Okay, after you've done all four axles, go ahead and make the wheels visible again. 
And then if you zoom in on the train, you should be able to rotate the wheels around. Nothing else should move. So make sure your wheels are rotating. And they are. 